Hey there, I'm Jalapeno, and today we're going to learn how to set up an asset repository on Roblox, and explore why you need one before you start world building. We'll do this by making an asset list, creating the repo on Roblox, organize the repo, and then we'll look at how it helps you make an awesome world. So let's start by making an asset list. Utilizing a word processor of your choice, you should break down your assets into sections similar to what their folders would be on Roblox. In my case, I'm going to be making a first person shooter, so I'm setting up simple props, cover props, world modulars, and gameplay objects. Now that I have my sections, I can begin listing off the objects needed in each. Simple props will cover computers, books, rugs and debris, little things I could throw around the map. And cover props will cover things like couch, desk, filing cabinets, barrels, crates, anything a player can take cover behind. And world modulars will be objects such as the solid walls, door frames, solid wall windows, broken walls, and other things to build up entire structures. And finally, we're going to have a couple gameplay objects such as interactable doors and garage doors. With our list done, now we can actually create the repository on Roblox, which is actually just a simple separate studio place from your main experience. First, let's open Roblox Studio and create a new experience. Then navigate to File and Publish to Roblox As, and create a new game and name it, and make sure you set the creator to yourself or the group you're working in. Now that the place file is published, open Explorer, and begin adding the core folders based on the same list you just made. So we're going to add a world art folder, and under it we'll nest simple props, cover props, world modulars, gameplay objects. We'll also add a folder to each of those named Repo Organization for our next step. So now, we gotta organize our repository. Just having folders in Explorer isn't gonna be enough. Each of these assets will be an individual 3D object in the place, so we'll need somewhere to put it. Let's add in a part and make it about a quarter stud tall and then add a selection box. Set it to door knee to the part and set the part transparency to one. Now we have a highlighted box we can use to make separate zones for each prop that we're adding. Starting in one corner of your base plate, resize the part to be roughly 400 by 300 studs as a starting point, but you can adjust this as needed. Then duplicate the part and make it into a smaller rectangle in the corner, add a surface GUI, frame, and text label. Make sure the frame and text label are both on a one-to-one -one scale, and then set the text to scale automatically. You may need to adjust the pixels per stud of the surface GUI to get the text large enough to read from a distance. Then, change the text to the name of the first folder, in this case, Simple Props. Now, you can parent both of those to the repo organization folder you made for that section. Now, do this for all the other folders you made, moving each section to the right and adjusting size as needed. We know world modulars may be a bit bigger than the standard props, so I'm going to extend its space longer than the others to ensure we can fit them all. And now, we can just begin filling these spaces with all the props we need as we make them. So, now that you know how to make an asset repo, why does it help? By making a repo before you begin building your experience, you can ensure you or your artists know everything required before the world art process truly begins. It also allows you to stay organized early, and it's a lot easier to look for an object in an organized repository than it is to search tons of place files for the one area that may have had it. One of the best reasons for a world builder to use a repo, though, is that it makes swapping out assets easier as your experience progresses. If you utilize packages like we discussed in our version control video, you can place gray box props in the repo first, and as you swap them out for the finished product, you can automatically update them across all of your places at once, making world building a breeze. So, now that you know how to make a repository, check out our other videos to learn more about creating on Roblox.